Hi everyone, it's Nikki from Ask the Body Kinesiology here and today I want to talk a little bit about muscle reflex testing and I also want to talk about pain in the body or things that happen in the body and how we approach them in a kinesiology session. So I've got my gorgeous goddess friend Bernie on the table again today. Thanks Bernie for letting me borrow your body. And so muscle reflex testing, there are so many different ways that kinesiologists will muscle test. Primarily what I'm working with is the brachioradialis muscle. It is this one. So muscle testing is a way that we, when the, when the arm is placed in an optimal position and gradual pressure is applied, we're able to find out where the stress is being held uh, in the body, the mind, the spirit through muscle testing, basically. So it's a very complex thing and it's a fascinating topic. I encourage you to look into it. Muscle testing is really, really cool. But it's kind of like a laser-like way to, to drill in and bypass any of the resistance that is coming from subconscious, which is a very interesting place as well, quite fascinating. And so I don't really think about muscle testing too much now because I've been doing it for a really long time, but it's just it just looks like this and it's really gentle children are really cool with it. We can self muscle test and use ourselves as a surrogate. I do a lot of sessions online and that's just where I tap into the person's energy and use my myself as a surrogate to find out what we need for the person for their session. And I also work with animals, which we'll talk about another time. So then we would be using self muscle testing, of course, for the animal. But right now I'm working with beautiful Bernie. So I'm just going to do a little muscle test here. Is it okay if I just do some muscle testing with you, call Benny, so I can switch her muscle off, switch it back on. And then I'm going to, I'm going to talk about pain really quickly. So when pain shows up in the body for people, I think pain is a wonderful way of going in deeper to find out what's really going on. So I think of, of pain as an alarm response. It's kind of like the body's screaming sometimes or sometimes it's just a little knock or there's a little niggle going on. So I'm always interested to know what's going on in regards to the body in a pain kind of way. There are various books that I use to decode some of that information. So when we're looking at say, oh, I'll give you an example. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little scan of Bernie's body now. I mean, I do know some things about what's been going on for Bernie, but I'm, I'm not even gonna talk about that right now. I'm just gonna go here. So there's a, there's a stomach conversation going on, right? We talked about that earlier. Bernie's been experiencing some bloating and discomfort, and it's, it's quite unusual for her. Bernie's um, a very conscious eater and eats really well and takes great care of herself. So to be having this conversation is a little bit unusual. So we can get curious about that. And, you know, I may go to the book, one of the books, the various metaphysical kinesiology books that I have to find out more about that. Or I may bring out a, an acupressure chart and we can drill in and find out if there's a, a blockage in the meridian. It could be a chakra imbalance. Um, we happen to, yeah, know that it is a, it's a more of a, a chakra thing for Bernie going on right now. And it's not something that we really need to go into here, but it's just interesting, right, to find out the body, the, the body is always speaking something emotional, something deeper. And when you start understanding the body that way and getting curious in that way, it provides for very interesting ways to uh, approach your healing and to support yourself in your life rather than just opting for something to make symptoms go away. We can make symptoms go away. We can tell the body to shut up by taking some pills sometimes, or we can go, what's going on with that? Let's understand why that is, there is an imbalance in our thyroid. Okay, that we, so this is, yeah, that's how we approach as kinesiologists, physical situations. And there is something going on with Bernie's right foot that we discussed earlier, so we can get curious about that. I mean, we had a little conversation before about meridian lines and meridian points, and we know that there is something going on for Bernie that potentially could be related to bladder conversation. So there are various things that we can do. We can use acupressure, and we can use things like moxibustion, and all sorts of putting heat on points or flushing meridian lines to get energy, because all we're doing is working with energy. So we want to get the energy moving in, in the body. So that's just some of the ways that we work with 
body conversations and we're always using muscle reflex testing. I'm always listening to the person and communicating with them, asking their body and also asking them, of course, what's going on for them in their lives. And it's fascinating. So yeah, if you're curious about what's going, if you've got a pain conversation that you've had for a really long time and nothing seems to be working, that's when kinesiology is exceptionally cool. So I encourage you to think about it in a different way and go deeper and find out, get curious about what could be happening deeper in the body below the surface to clear so that you can thrive and flow and be free. Infinite love and gratitude. Thanks so much for listening.